no, no. Mr. Rusty Glaze, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm very good, thanks. So how do you feel here in, uh, in Camping Cup Tournament? Is this your first time in, uh, in Europe? To play, uh, uh, I years? actually, I usually make it over once a year. This is my first time this year because uh, I had previously been on Infamous and they weren't going to Europe. So came with Excessive now that I'm on the team and it's my first time to Europe this year. All right, so do you like it? Yeah, I always like England. It's always a nice event and, you know, usually it's at Crystal Palace, but this event here is really nice. The turf's really nice that they got set up, so looks it's so far been an awesome event. All right, so you were talking about Infamous, so uh, how did your move happen a couple of months ago uh, from Infamous to Excessive? What happened? Um, Can you tell us a bit more? Uh, most people know JR had been picked up by Excessive, like they, they paid him money, he went over, and, and then since I had gone pro, I'd always played with JR. And I actually worked five feet away from him. We were running drills together every day, training together every single day. So eventually, it just it made the move more natural to switch over. And, and Infamous is it just a lot of things changed from the way we were last year, and it just seemed better just to go where I went. And so far, we've been successful. So, so it's, a, it's another pass for you now. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a very good decision. I like all the guys, and it's just been a really easy transition. It okay. wasn't hard at all. Cool, cool. So um, still on, on Infamous and in, uh, about Chris Lasoya particularly. So he just announced that he quit paintball. So how do you feel about that? 
Uh, I haven't really got his take on it. I mean, he had talked about it, different stuff like that. He's just been playing for so long. I never talked to him on the phone yet. I haven't got his take on, you know, what exactly is going on. And he's just, I'm following the boat with the same rumors that everyone's talking about. So until I talk to him on the phone, I'll call him when I get back and, you know, sort it out. Do you feel close to him? Yeah, I'm good friends with him. So, you know, he was the first one I called when I was leaving the team. And, you know, he, he wasn't he wasn't too upset. Yeah. And we, we talked about things. He so. can understand things. Yeah, he seemed to understand what was going on. All right, cool. So, about the, this tournament right now, um, of course, I guess your goal is to win it. Of course. So now we can say that Excessive will be the, the pro champion for the Millennium Series. Uh, there's still oh, this tournament to play, then you're going to play probably a uh, Madrid tournament. Madrid, yeah. So uh, this is a very good season for you here in Europe. That's cool. And uh, so what's what's the next step for you guys? Is I guess it's the MPBL? Yeah, San Diego next weekend will be the next step. and. We win that event. It's really a pivotal. It was a pivotal point to win Denver for the season for the overall championship. If we win it in San Diego, then it really puts a tight race on Dynasty. I think we actually, you know, depending where they place, we would tie them if we take first. And then the last event will determine who is the overall champion. So, do you feel Dynasty has more pressure now than they ever had? Um, uh, it's hard to say because they're always the team everyone watches and expects to win. So now, you know, they got something that. Instead of just going expecting to win, they got something now. They need to go and expect to, to beat someone now instead of just going and, you know, they're expecting to win. So, I mean, right. they now have a goal. Right. We have a goal to maintain. They have a goal to reach back to the top. So it's going to be tough for everyone. There's a lot of okay. pressure on everyone. So, so it's going to be funky next yeah, year. Yeah, it's going to be. I mean, it makes it interesting. It makes paintball more exciting to watch if there's more going on. Uh, yeah, Same agree. thing with the story of quitting. It's, and now everyone's asking, is he really going to quit? Is he going to go to another team? Now everyone wants to know what team he's going to go to, and that's going to change everything. Now he's on a new outfit, and no one's used to that, so right. this makes paintball exciting. All right, cool. Thank you very much, Mr. Ristiglase, and see you on the field. Thanks, guys. See you guys.
out. Get him out. So I'm here with uh, Mr. Glenn Sakemoto and Mr. Dave Ben from Avalanche. So what are you guys doing here? We are uh, guessing with Concilium Day for uh, Yeah, we just saw that. Yes. So, so uh, how did it happen? Exactly. How did it happen? Um, actually, I just really, our Avalanche wasn't going to go to this event and I just really wanted to go play. So I just asked around if anybody needed players. Concilium said yeah. Um, asked if anybody else on our team wanted to play and I said yeah, Dave will play with us. So that was it from there. So. That's how we're on the team right now. All right. So how do you feel all day? Um, it was a good game. Yeah. Uh, Nexus gave us a good game and just came down to the end. And we just got lucky and shot some key players out, and we just right. won the game. So why is not uh, Avalanche playing this event? Uh, it's just a lot of money. It, it costs us a lot to come out here. It's you know, t twelve to fifteen thousand dollars for an American team to come out here, and it's. Wow. I, I guess a lot of the teams don't see the rewards of coming out here. And uh, me and Glenn just like traveling, so we just wanted to come out and Concilium was just like, hey, we need two players, and it just worked out. And how do you feel uh, playing here in the military team? You, you came once in, uh, in Amsterdam, I guess. Yeah. Yes, our, so, yeah, our team came to Amsterdam. We actually, we love playing here. Uh, it's just the, the money issue is the hardest part, so that's why, like, I, I mean, I love the Millennium Series a lot. It's a fun event. Um, that's why I wanted to so play. what's going on with Avalanche? What are the, the big news? Big news. Well, I guess according to all the rumors, we're breaking up. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, there are some. There's yeah. a lot of rumors about us breaking well, apart. You can tell everyone. It's, yeah, that's, uh, I don't see it happening. I don't see it so. happening. Anytime, yeah. so. All right. So everything's okay with the team. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're preparing the next uh, MPPL. Yep. Yes. Next, next yeah, year. we're gonna be next week in San Diego. Uh, we so we, me and Glenn are right when we fly out of here. We have one day to do our laundry and do what we need to do, and then we're flying right back out. All right. So busy life. So you are happy to be here. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm actually really happy to be here. All right. It's fun. Except that the rain's a little. Yeah, this weather sucks. This weather sucking. Yeah. Right? That's the English weather. Yeah, it's, it's cold, it's raining, windy, horrible. <laughs> Still having a good time. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, you guys. Right. No problem.
skjuter mig, han skjuter mig! So I'm here with um, Miki Salas. So Miki, you are the move of the day. So um, how did you? What did you decide you to make that move during uh, the game against Joy Division? Well, it was uh, really what it was was uh, instinct. I saw the guy. He was uh, directly parallel to me on our side of the field, you know. So what I did is I saw him. He was loading. Grabbed the pod out of his out of his pack, and I saw his elbow. Yeah. So I knew he was going to be loading, you know. So in that split second, I just just oh, took off him. and went for him. I knew there was a guy in front of me still shooting at me, but I just I mean I really I just kept running until I didn't know he was going to miss me so bad. So but he missed I just kept running. Yeah, he definitely missed me, and then uh, and you didn't miss him. Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't miss the other guy, but I messed up. I could have shot that dude and kept going and finished the game, and it would have been a better move, but. It happens. That's the way it is. Yeah, that's the way it works. So you are the rule of the day, so congratulations. Thank you. See you soon.